Okay, well, hello everyone. Uh, we are here for another episode of Flamecast, uh, our way of bringing FlameCon to you year round. Um, and with me today, I've got a very exciting illustrator that I'm very excited to talk to. Um, but I'm going to let her uh, tell her tell all us rather um, who she is and what she does. Alex. Okay. Cool. Hi, I'm Alex. Um, I'm a Chinese American illustrator based in New York. Um, I also do graphic design by day. So illustration is kind of like my side hobby. That's been my thing since I was like a wee lad. Um, but it's been really, uh, yes. But uh, yeah, I'm, I really like making comics, illustrations. Um, and I am gravitated towards like kind of surreal themes that like border on a bit creepy. Yeah. I love surreal and creepy. That's that's yeah. like that's where I live. <laughs> the Venn diagram. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, maybe you can dive into that a little bit more because I'm interested to learn uh, who or what inspires your work. For sure. Um, so I think what's it's. I mean, I, inspiration comes from a lot of places. I guess. Um, like obviously everyone. Um, but my background actually is kind of in like um, art history, design and illustration. So I think I'm kind of always like pulling if inspiration and references from that as I create work. Um, also, obviously, like being Chinese American, a lot of it comes from like my culture, my family. Um, um, but I think like maybe in terms of specific pieces of media that kind of have stuck with me for a really long time um, have been like uh, Junji Ito's work, of course, um, for like that that horror vibe. Uh, this is more of like an art theory, art history thing, but I read it in college and I really liked it because it was one like not super academic, really short, but also like I think really interesting and informative. Um, and that was John Berger's Ways of Seeing, which is like a art theory book. Um, but I think it's it was like really cool um, way of thinking about the ways like um, visual, you like operate your visual practice and like how you think about um, the way the audience and viewer kind of um, relate to the work that you're creating too. Um, and, oh, I'd be, yeah, I'd be lying if I didn't say all of like the cringy shoujo manga I read as a child on like those illegal <laughs> like sites in like 20 whatever, 2010, um, didn't deeply influence the reason why I still make things today. <laughs> um, so I think that's a cringy admission. It's yeah. It's huge. This is a safe space for you, <laughs> and I'm. You were clearly not the only one because they take up a big part of the internet. <laughs> I feel seen. I'm glad other people see it. <laughs> Great. Yes. <laughs> um. So since we are, uh, we're connecting here remotely today. Um. I know I've been thinking a lot about what community means now. Uh. Mm -hmm. In this very different time. Um. But I. I I'd love to hear from you. Um, you know, who is a part of your community? Where have you met them? And mm -hmm. how do you think about connecting with community today? For sure. Yeah. So I think um, what's obviously people from like a lot of different backgrounds. And like, I think anywhere that really brings people, like all different kinds of people together, really makes it easier to find community and like find places where you feel like you can, you, you fit in and like, ha like share values with the same people. Um, so I'm really fortunate to kind of have experienced that, like being, um, you know, queer and Asian American. I've like found friends through literally the most random places, but just like we, you know, like I think I met like some of my closest friends who do like illustration and art and are also like have the same background as I do just through like, like whatever, like a Rina Sawayama concert or something. And then we like see each other and we're like, the vibe checks out, you like what I do. And then like that kind of is like where it all starts. Um, and I don't, it's really interesting kind of how that works because then you just kind of find more people like that. Um, and I think it's again really cool just because it's just maybe like the environment we're in kind of where that that's so easy and seamless to do. Um, but I think a lot of it's kind of just through like, um, you know, being in a place where it's so diverse and everyone's kind of coming together for like a similar thing has been like the main way I found people, which is really, I guess, more coincidental than anything, but it's been really nice and comforting because I know, especially like the world and the city is so big, but when you find like, so many different small communities you can be a part of. Um, I don't know, that's something that's just really comforting and intimate, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like I like that idea of, I, I, I miss those moments of like meeting somebody completely new and being like, oh yeah, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I know, it's like you pass the vibe check, like, oh, let's hang out later, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. fewer of those moments these days, but I'm looking forward to, to yeah. meeting a room full of strangers, honestly. I mean. <laughs> 
because <laughs> I, you know, it's it, it, for me, um, I got involved because uh, being in a room full of strangers and like telling them what to do, but like organizing, making order yeah. chaos is like my thing. So um, I definitely look forward to the day of like more vibes, more surprise vibes. <laughs> I know, less less stress vibes, more good vibes. Yeah, yeah. Good, good vibes only. <laughs> yeah, good vibes only, exactly. <laughs> um, so speaking of uh, good vibes, where are you getting, I'm, I, I wanna hear where you're getting your good vibes from these days. So tell me what you are geeking out over. Um, yeah, I think this, this time period has been really good and like really geeking out over things. Cause it's like, what else am I going to do? Let me just deep dive everywhere. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. So I think right now, um, ceramics is a big thing that I've like recently been like really into oh. and like deep dove into really hard. Um, are you creating? Yeah. So I, I like the one I leave the house once a week and that is to go to like a socially distanced studio to like do ceramics for like a few hours. And then I come back home and just like sit in my hat in my room. <laughs> so that's one thing that I've been like obsessed over. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, in terms of comics, I Piao Studio rele is releasing like a, anthology, like a sci fi theme anthology called X Mag. Cool. And I got the first two volumes. I think the third one's coming out like soon. But the second volume is like, sci-fi plus like creepy romance kind of it's really really good i read that recently and i finished it yes i totally recommend <laughs> and then i slugged it to my friend i was like you got to read this next kind of thing so that's also a big thing i'm geeking out over um, i'm still thinking about even though it's been like a few months since i got it um and then last thing is um hunter hunter which is like 10 years old and mm -hmm. like it's like an anime 10 years old i don't know why i started getting into it but I, it, I was like, I guess I'll just relive like whatever 2010 days to feel <laughs> nor normal again. I'm, yeah. with, I'm, I'm with you. I uh, I use quarantine to finally watch Yuri on Ice, and <laughs> I like literally everyone I know was telling me, "Oh, you, you should, you would definitely watch, you should watch this." And then, like what five years ago, yeah. and I just got to it like three months ago. So <laughs> I feel yeah. that. Yes. <laughs> we all come yeah. around eventually. Yeah. I'm going to throw this out for you. Uh, just on a pottery side note. Um, yeah. There is a British reality show called the great pottery throwdown. And oh. it's just like little old British women being like, I made this lovely pot. It's, <laughs> it's very healing. So very quiet that. and like yeah. kind of boring, but I, it's, it's great. Okay. I got to watch that next. Cause that is the exact vibe I want. I want, oh, yeah. I want all the time. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> So before we head out, um, can you tell people where they can find out more about you and your work? Oh, sure. So you can, I guess, find me on like Instagram, Twitter, website. It's all at um, A-S-W-L-I-N-G. That's just my username and URL everywhere. So yeah, pretty easy. Great. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for, you know, this was good vibes. Thanks good so much vibes. for this is, you know, having a good vibes conversation with me today. Yeah. Um, and I look forward to connecting with you online and in the future. Yeah. Thanks so much, Nick. Of course. Have yeah. a good day. Bye.